insane video. A group of migrants in New York City are arrested after attacking NYPD officers in Times Square. Five were arrested and four are already released without bail. All right, the brawl started when two officers were trying to break up a rowdy crowd near a migrant shelter on 42nd Street. While arresting one of the men, the other said, hey, I'm not going to just sit there. I'll jump in. I'll start kicking. I'll stop punching the officers. After all, I don't belong in this country anyway. I could beat up an NYPD officer. What will actually happen? The Manhattan DA's office saying it's investigated the incident as police search for five other men involved. Every part of this uh, incident could have been avoided if you didn't allow 67,000 people to call New York home who don't belong here. And what happened is instead of being grateful they're creating chaos they get free food free laundry right. uh, they could do whatever they want free shelter and when they start fighting each other and nypd comes to enforce the law they beat up the cops right so get you trying to wrap your head around that uh, listen the, the actual number according to the new york post and they had this uh, story exclusively uh, 172 thousand migrants have come to new york city uh, since, you know, in the last year and a half 172 thousand 67 thousand are currently in shelters obviously over the weekend, uh, as you've seen in this video from Fox News, uh, a group of illegal immigrants, people who do not belong here, attacked our cops. Now, my question is, um, if you were an American citizen and you were attacking cops like that, would they have shot you? They probably would have. They should have pulled their guns out and shot them, right? Because they were outnumbered. Uh, they were on the ground already. They, they were not backed up. There was nothing. There was no like. I mean, it much started to look like it was uh, uh, the beginnings of a riot on the fringes. The crazy part is, uh, these people are already released. Well, at least the, the 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 vast majority of them are released already. So we're gonna take a look at a video, another video from Fox News, uh, showing the release of these people. The, the the nerve of how they reacted as they were being let go without any bail. Um, you know, my, my feelings, I'll let you know in a minute, but it, uh, it, it it's, it, it's irritable as an American citizen. Just into Fox News now, NYPD making two more arrests, illegal immigrants, and that attack on officers. Those suspects also allegedly stole an officer's cell phone. Well, that'll help them track you down. So a fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. He was seen, as you can see, giving his two middle fingers to the cameras moments after being released without bail. Florida Senator Marco Rubio wrote, message to America from one of the illegal immigrants who assaulted NYPD officers, walked free with no bail, and heads back to a shelter funded by taxpayers. So far, police have uh, shared four mugshots of the now seven people arrested in connection with the brutal beatings in Times Square. So as you can see there, uh, zero remorse, zero, zero fucks given, right? Um, I got to be honest with you, I just, I mean, this means nothing, but uh, these individuals are wearing better clothes than I am. They, they beat these cops up, attack them while they're making arrests, or, or at least stopping other people from fighting. You steal from them, and then you, you, you have the grace of God to be released without bail. And then you flip off the reporters as you're walking out from all your freedoms. Where nobody, none of us Americans would ever, we would ever get that, 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 that just freedom to do that right how many people how many times have you ever beat up a cop and then got released with no charges bail no bail nothing free to roam and, and go hide you, you don't even truly know who these people are right there's hundreds of thousands of people in new york city right now you don't know who they are there's there's tens of thousands being put up on your dime um, while your, your prices are being inflated, your rents, your food, your utilities, everything else is going up while they're sitting in free shelters all across this country, just, just willy nilly. Could you imagine going to another country? Say you left right now, you went to Mexico, uh, is Mexico putting you up on their tax paradigms? No. They're never, n not a single person would ever do that, right? Not a single country would ever do that. Not, not, not realistically, but they're, we're doing it. 
We're doing it by the tens of millions. And uh, people are upset. And rightfully so. Uh, I'm upset. I- I'm a little disgusted because, well, you know, you've busted the American citizens' balls for how many decades over the n- most nonsensical things. You come after us for the smallest things, for the smallest infractions. Now, you're going to let them go? They've attacked our, our brave men and women in uniform that, that serve us? It's disgusting. Who, whoever runs the police department, whoever runs the justice system, whatever judge or, or court pers- appointed person let these people go should lose their jobs. Um, like I said, uh, I think people, uh, hopefully people are waking up. Um, I know there's another incident going on in Boston. Uh, I think they're 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 <laughs> getting really pissed off. I got another video of a uh, uh, homeless gentleman, semi-homeless gentleman. Uh, really pissed off, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that video, and uh, we'll come back and talk about it. Fucking here, and I've been here my whole because I can yell, because I can yell, because I can yell, and I'm fucking angry. That's why. I hear you. So why can't I get in the fucking building? Why? Where's the mirror? Y'all did. Y'all give a about the motherfuckers that was born and raised here. Y'all raised the rent so high. Can't afford to live here. But y'all gonna bring some other motherfuckers here? That doesn't add up. It doesn't make no sense. None. None. I'm homeless. I work a full-time job, 40 hours, and can't pay to live here. How the f*** are y'all gonna bring somebody else here? Don't make no f- sense. None. So you see that? Another person pissed off, and rightfully so. Uh, raised the rent on him. You got people living in a recreational center for free. Now, he's yelling at the police. I gotta be honest with you, there's there's probably a certain number of those police that actually agree with him, but they can't really do anything. Well, I mean, they can, but they, 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 you know, they want to get paid themselves, right? Uh, They stand up and say anything or go against anything. They're going to lose their jobs, too. Um, It's the people you vote in. Let's be fair. It's the Democratic Party. It's Joe Biden. It's uh, AOCs, the, the squad. I mean, the hypocrisy for most of these people, right? They got their 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 money bag from you, your taxpayer. Now they're giving it out to everybody else. So, like Cori Bush. Cori Bush is a perfect example. Using your tax dollars for her benefit. They're using your tax dollars, your recreational center. I'm pretty sure that uh, a lot of that money came from taxpayers. They're using at that the house, you know, how many migrants? And what are they getting? And it's the NGOs too. This, this, this all could just be, the stem of this could be flowed. The flow of this could be stemmed just by closing the border. Then take the resources that you're using to get people who don't belong here, criminally here, out. Even if you had to spend more money, and I'm pretty sure you would make that argument to the American citizens. They would tell yeah, because that would end it, right? Now it's never going to end. Their their tax loophole dead ends, right? So they're pay they're not paying into taxes like you are. No no social security, no no income tax, no nothing. They're not paying into the system at all. All they're doing is absorbing tax money out. If you did that, you'd be called a welfare king or queen. But yet it's it's happening. So um, hopefully people get smartened up. Hopefully they uh. They, they don't just take this lying down, and um, we're gonna keep going on this. Uh, I'm Simple Son. If you enjoy the content, you like what I'm bringing you, give me a like button, hit the subscribe, share this, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.